Yes. Robert yes, Dean, yes. who do we have with us today? Ladies and gentlemen, we are so blessed and honored to have these two wonderful, wonderful musicians and um, ministers because they minister in their own ways. Yeah. You know, and it's just good music. And so we have this 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 other one. I'm I'm just really floored because we haven't heard a lot about him lately. But we'll get to that later. But we have David P. Stevens and the Mitchell Jones. Welcome to the Wake Up Morning Show. This is a privilege to have y'all on here. Glad to have, glad for you to have us, man. Yeah, appreciate yeah. Thank you. Thank you for having us on, man. Appreciate it. Uh, first, oh, give yeah. an honor to God, who's truly the head of my life. Is he the head of your life with your beef? Absolutely. Yes. yes. I, I, you know, I just want to uh, say good morning to you all, brothers. Yes. Uh, well, I'm sorry, uh, uh, br- uh, brother uh, Mitchell uh, yes, and, and Mr. Stevens. And the other guy? Uh, yeah. yeah. No, no, I'm, I'm going to give him his respect, Mr. Robert Stevens. <laughs> now, now, I, now, you know he must be on tour because he's still got his tour band on. Where you at, brother? I'm in Vegas. My, um, I'm actually not on tour. I'm, my son um, is doing a basketball, basketball tournament. So okay. I'm here in Vegas. Uh, yeah. So you on daddy doodle. Oh, yeah. Okay, so let me just first start off by saying that uh, everybody's very, very excited to see Reggie Codrington, David P. Stevens, and Lynn Roundtree at Jazz at the Creek. Yes. Everybody is talking about it. Yes. Uh, uh, tickets are almost there. We're trying to get that big sellout and everything Man. like that. But it's going to be – it's just going to be bananas uh, um, um, on Labor Day weekend. So I'm hoping that y'all going to bring the juicy juice and, and y'all oh, get it all together because um, uh, they coming for y'all. They they coming for I'm you excited. in droves. <laughs> I'm excited, man. This is gonna be great. We uh, the band is already um, you know, starting to rehearse and and starting to get everything together. So it's it's gonna be great. Okay, so I'm just gonna say that when you get here to San Diego, I'm going we gonna have our conversation. Uh, right. <laughs> uh, um, you gonna because, catch up on old times. Well, no, we we, we got some business to do because I, I need him to produce a couple of tracks. He, he already know. Oh, we, we, him. But we already oh. know what we get ready to do. Okay, so the beef Isn't is gone. Right then? Then? So the beef is gone. Well, Hallelujah. you know, yes, I, you know, I'm his I'm his spoiled big brother. Right. Okay. And, and, you know, he he got he got to text me and like thinking of you, big bro, and I'll be like, okay, right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. But anyway, I'm gonna send that text right now. <laughs> right. Right. Now I'm excited with this other young man right here. Because as a young lad, he he, he was he was the one who stood out because he was he was darker than everybody. But he can he can sing, oh, with the, yeah. but he can Doc, sing Doc. with but he can sing with the best of <laughs> <laughs> Doc Doctor Mitchell, welcome, man. What's been going on with you? Oh no, man, just enjoying my family, man, relationship uh, with God, and um, excited about some of the things commission is, is uh, uh, got uh, we got coming up. Uh, movie coming out, coming yes. out, and uh, yes, also we got finished some of the dates on the tour because you know the COVID shut us down, so we got some more dates to finish out. Right, because you guys were looking at coming here. We were going to get you guys here yeah. with the Clark Sisters for our county fair about three years ago. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Uh, okay, so so Mitch, I want to ask a question. You know, um, I tried my best to become a part of commission, but um, and um, you know, because I figured that since. You, we were the darker skinned brothers, and I play, yeah. I play a mean air bass, but for some reason they wouldn't let me bump a uh, uh, Fred, because uh, they said that uh, although my air bass was good, it, they what, couldn't good hear. It. They couldn't hear it. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, let, 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 let me hear the air bass. <laughs> you see, you, 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 you got the move. Yeah, you see, you, you see where I'm going with it. Yeah, yeah, I, I love that. <laughs> and if and if I would stand up, I, I got a little like D- man, that leg out. Yeah, all right. All right. Yeah, thanks, man. So so let me say this. Um, this is exciting for us because yes. we grew up on commission. Oh yeah. You know, mm-hmm. um, it's like um, all the different commission folks that we we work with over the last uh, thirty years. It is funny to see you all together, um, and mm-hmm. we love you. And then the individual projects that you have done, Fred. Fred, um, you know, I, always, I had to get on Fred. I said, when he came, first time he came to the fair, he wasn't expecting 10,000 folks. Uh, but the, the, the next time I brought him, he came and he had on gear and everything. He was ready for it. You know what I'm saying? So we, we, we want to hear a little bit more about what commission is getting ready to come up with and how we can 
engage early on because, you know, we want you guys to be the rock stars that you guys are. Oh, wow. Well, we uh, we talking about doing another album, and um, we are excited about it, man, because we haven't uh, put an album out in a while. So okay. we, we are so excited about getting together and writing and fellowshipping. Mm -hmm. And the fellowship is what's most important because mm -hmm. when you fellowship, good things come out of the fellowship. And, mm -hmm. and, 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 it's, and we we just so excited about uh, the album that we're about to uh, come out with and also the movie that we got coming out. Um, Robert Townsend is, is the director. Yes. And we're excited. Yeah, I, I talked to Rob, you know, because he goes to my cousin's church. And, and I, I auditioned for the Air Base again. And, uh, he just, I, I he, think he, he wasn't your calling. I think no, God well, he was said, trying to tell you something. He kept on saying that I was too dark. To play that, I play think God was saying that that's not your lane. That's, that's, that's not my lane? Right. Okay, he, wants okay. you to be, he wants you to be the prayer warrior. Pray, uh, Jesus. Right. Okay. <laughs> but that that's beautiful because we haven't really heard a lot from Robert Townsend, but he's been doing mm -hmm. a lot. Yes. Uh, so yeah. to have him and to have a man of God to yes. do this project Absolutely. is amazing. Absolutely. Yeah, we, we, mm. We're super excited. Yeah. It's, it's, um, really, the story is not about commission. Okay. Story is about God and the life of commission. Okay, just like the story of David, you, we think it's about David, but it's the story is about God and the life of David. Right. It's God and the life of, of Moses, mm -hmm. and so it's going to tell. It's going to talk about some of the good, of the bad, and the ugly that that happened in commission, but how God graced us and, and with those gifts, but still blessed us in, right. in spite of ourselves. Right. Ooh, look at y'all going mm -hmm. scuba gear deep, scuba gear deep. <laughs> right. We we just had Bishop Michael Brooks on this, this show not long ago because really? I was a part of the Young Artists for Christ that you were a part oh. of as well. So it, it was great having him on here because he don't do a lot of interviews. <coughs> yeah, he, Mike, we, we just had rehearsal with him. We uh, got a, a date coming up uh, next month in Atlanta. So we're excited about that. Wow. Wow. So, so, so David, um, how, you know, because you, you're a young buck, you know what I'm saying? You're, you're one of them <laughs> youngsters. How, how you get how you, you get with an OG? A seasoned saint. Man, so, you know, just like y'all, I was a die, am a diehard commission fan. Um, so a friend of mine, um, I, I, I was just telling him, like, man, I really want to get an opportunity to work with Mitchell. And, um, and so he made some calls. He didn't know Mitchell directly. We made some calls, and we got to Mitchell, and then, uh, Mitchell and I got on the phone, man, and we just hit it off, and it was a blessing. And um, and then y'all, y'all just don't. So being being a, a commission fan, I geeked out the first time he sang something on the phone. I was, I was looking at the phone like, this is really him. <laughs> yeah, man, because you know it, it's a blessing. You know the the meaning of the song is so important, but also you know just even the um, just the opportunity to be able to work in. And then um, Mitchell is, uh, actually doesn't probably don't even realize he has um, spiritually said some things to me over the last couple of weeks that have uh, impacted me. And, um, you know, and it's funny to watch how, like, from from 12 years old to, to now, it's like commission has always been, you know, always been, uh, been that, 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 that guy, uh, you know, to just kind of say, hey, man, this is the right direction. Get back in this right direction, you know. So it's, it's been cool. I, I'm just sitting here thinking about the goodness of, of Jesus and how he places us strategically where he wants us to be. Right. I, I'm, I'm just tripping because we have Park Stewart on here as well. And oh, so man. God is That's just kind of, God is just kind of pulling this thing together because who would have thought that I would be on radio? My degree is in radio, but I wasn't pursuing it. And that old COVID, God <laughs> made it happen for various mm -hmm. reasons, but it placed me where I needed to be. And I'm honored to be able, we're honored to be able to interview people like you who we never got a chance to tell how much you blessed us, how much you encouraged us, how much you inspired us. So this is our opportunity to tell you now, Mitchell, that you have mattered and that God had you and still has you where he wants you to be, man. I, I, I really appreciate that, man. Uh, let me tell you, when I met, met my brother David, man, I tell you, he is such a humble guy, you know. You know, sometimes you get into work with people and you network, mm -hmm. you know, and you kind of like networking is more or less, you kind of, you kind of, everybody come together to see what they can take from each other. Right. But David and I, it was more, it began to grow into fellowship where people come together to see what they can give to each other. 
And I, I, I love his humility. I'm like, God, I'm attracted to, 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 to humility. Right. And I'm telling you, and he, he's very successful, but a humble guy. And, and I appreciate how God brought us together. Oh, he's, he's a great one. I, I met him when he came here last year, and we hit it off in the green room. I, oh, yeah. I, you know, and I, this guy has remained the same. It, it, it's yep. amazing. These jazz dudes are some incredible people. The Will Downings, mm -hmm. the David P. Stevens. You, you, you guys are some nice guys, nicer than some of the other ones. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you, know, you know, one of the things about it, and I think that um, 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 one, of the, one of the things that um, I love about people that have the heart of God, no matter what genre of music they're in, uh, they right. bring God with them everywhere, everywhere they go. Mm -hmm. um, uh, our, our director over, our executive over the jazz division, for some reason, she fell in love with uh, David P. Stevens, you know, because oh, yes. I, I don't repeat artists for our shows, right? Mm -hmm. You know, and she, she called me up and she was like, uh, we were looking at all these different artists that we we're going to have for this year's Jazz at the Creek. And she said, oh, well, my guys are already in place. I'm like, who's your guys? And she's like, she's like, oh, well, David P. and, and Lynn, they're already in place. And I'm like... <laughs> Wait, how can they already be in place? I ain't approved nothing. Right. And, and, and she said, she said, now you know them the guys, them 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 my boys, and uh, uh, they gonna be on every jazz. I'm like, Father Jesus. But one of the things about it is when they come, they come as family, and mm -hmm. and we treat them as family, and that's what makes it so easy to say, uh, you know, I could call Dave up and say, Dave, I need this, 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 and he'd be like, okay. Um, and we're working oh, yeah. all out. How are we going to do this? How are we going to do that? And that's the fun thing when you're an executive to really be able to enjoy your artists mm -hmm. uh, and mm -hmm. the artists that you work with and look forward to them. You don't have a problem signing no checks. You don't have no problem when they ask for stuff because mm -hmm. they <laughs> they make you feel like they that they appreciate being with you. And that's what mm -hmm. I love about David. And, um, and oh, yeah. that's why I believe God is bringing all these great people to work with him. Yeah. Yes, and yes. Then, uh, I, I'm, I'm like one of these people that turn red when when people start com uh, complimenting. So I, appreciate <laughs> I was like, oh man, thank you, thank I, you. For real. I I have a question for both of you. If you weren't doing music, what would you be doing? Man, if I wasn't if I wasn't doing music, what would I be doing? Uh, what would I want to do, or what would I would be doing? However, you want to answer it. I'll be playing basketball. Okay. I'll, be, I'll be an NBA guy. Okay. Okay. Because I remember uh, when when uh, I was in high school playing basketball, and I was talking to my brother, uh, and me and Fred went to the same high school as well. So we, Fred and I, sang in the talent show. We were, we were, we were doing things before the group started. Right. And um, I was asking my brother. I said, "You know, what what should I do? Should I pursue basketball or should I pursue singing?" And he said, uh, "Follow your heart. You know, follow your mm. heart and you know, singing." Mm. Was Mm. Wow. Well, wow. you know, you know, I, I feel you. And um, uh -oh. I, 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 if, if I could do it, I, I'd be watching basketball. Right. <laughs> I'll be watching you play basketball. Right. Because right. cause, cause I played tackle basketball. You know, <laughs> you, you was as long as you stayed out the paint, you was good. But if you came in the paint, you know, I forgot that it wasn't football. Now, now, no, let him answer. Now, now, David, we want you to answer the same question. Man, I'm sitting here trying to think. Uh, wow. You know, I probably would have done psychology or something like that. Um, you know, uh, I, I tend to end up counseling people a whole lot. I, I was just telling somebody the other day, my studio sessions often end up with um, people crying or, or, you know, like we, we just talking about what's the song that we're going to do or we're, you know, producing it. People sit on my couch and they start crying and telling me their life story and i appreciate it because you know obviously god put me in that position for a reason at that time but it happens so often i'm like man maybe that's what i was uh the second thing i was supposed to be or something i don't know so yeah i probably would have done that but but it's hard because man music is such a part of me I, since i was like little kids i can't imagine doing anything else okay. well, you know humility humility carries a presence presence mm -hmm. of god and when people get in the presence of God, they may they may spill all the beans. You know right. what I'm saying? Yeah. Right. Mm. So so um, I want to uh, uh, talk to both Commission uh, uh, Brother Mitchell and David because uh, 
last year when David came to Jazz at the Creek, he had on these britches that everybody was talking about. Oh, yeah, he, he, so, he, he's, fa uh, he's yeah, fashionable. Yeah. It, he's fashionable. And so I'm going to start off with you, Mitchell. What was the, 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 the coolest or the most the flyest. Uh, flyest outfit commission wore? And, and, and David P. Stevens, he already know I'm talking what the britches I'm talking about. Is it checkered black and white ones? Mm-hmm. The, the, the clothes we had? Yeah, what was the coolest outfit that you had when y'all was in commission? Um, They or me. I mean, because, I mean, we all dress different. Right. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So, I'm talking about you. Me? Uh, Probably was the Matters of the Heart record. Okay. Wait, I had on I got to pull that. Pazzarelli suit. Was that it blue, was it that blue suit. No, it's a, it's a blue suit, blue suit on Matters of the Heart. Okay. Oh, they had the solid colors. And, and, and tell me why, why you thought that was the flyest. Oh, man, it's just the way it fit. You know, the shoulders were wide. I got it, I made it, I got a size bigger so that the shoulders, because you see, I, I, my shoulders kind of like yours, you know. Mm -hmm. it's, it's not straight across, but yeah. it made, it made, it stood out. It just it just fitted so well. Mm -hmm. Oh, I was looking at it. That's the gangster suit right there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so let me ask you this question. You know, you know, you have all these um, what they call male groups. Yes, How sir. did you guys handle the extra tension um, as you traveled around the world? Uh, you talking about from the groups? Uh, no, from like from 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 the people that followed you. I'm not going to call them groupies. I was going to say groupies, but the people that followed you. How did y'all handle that peer pressure or all that attention? Well. You know, it's always encouraging to see people who are uh, who have been blessed by your ministry and encouraged and have so many testimonies in their life about what song blessed them. And uh, we just, to me, I always diverted attention to God. You know what I'm saying? I always try to make people see him and not me because really, really, when God told me, he says, um, um, uh, when I was uh, going to put out um, uh, um, um a record called Beyond the Veil, and I was thinking, oh, it's my time. It was my time. God says, yes, it's your, it's your time, but it's not your time to be out there uh, to promote you. Come on. He says, because he says, if you are dead and your life is here with Christ and God, you only got one life to promote, wow. and that's Christ. Wow. And so I try to promote him, you know, and I know it's just the way people are. In general, we are worshiping creatures. Mm -hmm. we, it's, it's, it, we're going to worship something. And yeah. so we, we, in this, in this field, in this, in this, uh, uh ministry or, or entertainment, mm -hmm. we have to be careful, man. We really draw the attention to God and not ourselves, That's you know, true. cause it's, it's, it's out there. The love of human praise, man, is, is, is the, is the root of unbelief. Mm -hmm. When it's about me, unbelief is, is being, is rising up. When it's about Christ, faith is rising up. That's Amen. Right. That's, that's powerful. So, so. You you guys so uh, Mitchell I don't know are you married uh, kids w what's going on in your life? Yes, I'm married. Um, thirty six years going on thirty seven wow. to the to to my uh, most the bestest and the goodest. <laughs> my wife, I have two uh, wonderful kids, uh, six grandbabies, and uh, we're family very much family orientated. We go on vacations together. Uh, when when the uh, when COVID hit, you know, when they shut in, we were doing Bible class every day wow. on Zoom. And so, man, it's that's 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 what I'm about, man. I'm about family. So let me ask you this question, because I know David got a family. Um, um, I'm hoping he's going to bring his wife down so we can finally meet her. But uh, we'll talk about that later. Um, let me ask you a question. How do your grandchildren respond to granddad as being the legendary part of commission? Um... A lot of the grandkids didn't really see me uh, in commission, but my my my, my granddaughter, it's a funny it's a funny situation. She uh, she came to the Cincinnati concert, the first one we did in Cincinnati uh, of the, uh, before the COVID, and so she saw everybody when commission came up. She saw everybody running to the stage, and so she was like, "Mama, a nana." Daddy is famous. So when she saw them running up there, she tried to run up to the stage too. And my and my and my wife said, "No, you can't run up there. You are gonna get trapped." Right, right. right. <laughs> and so she was excited. You know, it was it was just funny to hear her say that. Yeah. Uh, 
So, so David, how does your children handle all the people that know you and you go places and they be like, there go David P with the britches. <laughs> you know, you know, it's so funny. They don't believe it. So they just always, they'll Google something here and there and they'll be like, man, wait a minute. You, you actually know this person, you know, that person. And, um, and they, they still, but you know, teenagers, you know, so I have three, three teenagers. Um, but, uh, they also saw me doing, con- I would bring them everywhere concerts recording sessions everything and uh, i remember at one point um having to tell my oldest son to stop doing something during a concert that's unprofessional right but i gave him i watched him run around and about around the fourth time i said you know what i gotta say something because this dude is 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 tripping so i i literally in the middle of the song you brought the church out he brought the black (laughs) man out i I tried to give him a signal the first time i was like hey man sit down hey you know, he got close to the stage. Hey, sit down. So the fourth time I said, hey, look, I'm sorry, buddy, but you got to sit down. <laughs> you know, he's not the type of guy to get embarrassed, but he just looked up and kind of smiled and sat down. <laughs> he got the message. <laughs> so, so, yeah, so, you know, so they grew up seeing that. So they're not, you know, they they still don't really believe it. they like, that guy does the dishes and walk around with the broom all day. You know, he, that's, <laughs> that's all they know. <laughs> now, now, who were some of you guys' um, favorite singers and musicians growing up? It could be secular or gospel. Who were some of the people that really influenced that you really liked? I got to start. This man right here, I'm telling you, you know, and I, I'm not even trying to hero worship or nothing like right. that, but I listened to Commission. I used to have the um, the cassette when, when uh, Go Tell Somebody came out. Yes, sir. I carried that in my pocket all day. Because I knew if I could get to any tape machine, I was playing it. I, I had it in school, everything. So, you know what I mean? Um, go tell somebody. And then um, after that, you know, of course, like Babyface was a big influence. George Duke was mm-hmm. a huge influence on, me, on mine. Uh, you know, Stevie Wonder, like every other black musician in the world. Uh, and then on the, on the guitar side, George Benson was was uh, was hero, man. And, and a lot of the rock artists, too, like Mike Stern and all those guys. So, yeah. I could go on and on, but I'm going to just stop yeah. there. So, so Mitchell, <laughs> tell us uh, who, who influenced you or who did you look well, up? <laughs> well, my my my, um, my family, first of all, my uh, all my family sing. My brother used to sing with the Dramatics. I don't know if you ever heard of the, uh, the second group called the Dr- Dr- Dramatics. Yeah, we heard mm-hmm. of Dramatics. Uh, and yeah, so he used to sing with them. And uh, so I was very much inspired by my brother. And then Stevie Wonder is one that I, I kind of patterned. Uh, my singing after a little bit, mm-hmm. and Donny Hathaway, and uh, Donny mm-hmm. Hathaway definitely. You heard of Donny Hathaway, uh, the melodic oh, king. The, the melodic king. Wait, who who Donny Hathaway? Who Donny Hathaway and later? Yeah, yeah. Who, 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 who are they? Folks? Who are they? Yeah, with I'm the big old hat on. Oh yeah, the big hat, <laughs> the apple hat. Right. I learned that melodic singing from Donny Hathaway and um, and Stevie. I just he's just an amazing artist, writer singer producer i mean he plays so many instruments and uh uh inspired by him uh people bryson and then a lot of the uh because i i didn't grow up in church so a lot of the motown uh the spinners the temptations you know just learned a lot from them now did you guys sing in church what did you i mean did you grow up did any of you sing in the church and if, if so what church did you grow up in uh i grew up in uh, apostolic church of god in christ uh and i did sing uh <laughs> I did sing at Apostolic Church of God in Christ, but I, I did sing uh, in the choir. See, see, that's the first time we ever heard, heard of Apostolic, Apostolic Church, Church of God, God in Christ. Christ. We done heard Church of God in Christ, Christ and Apostolic, Apostolic, right? But you know, you you, <laughs> you grew up in two churches. You merged them together. <clears throat> two churches, yeah. <laughs> and, and, and David, you you ain't nothing but a church boy, right? Yes, sir. All day. Was all it Church day. of God in Christ? No, it was Church of God, but it's it's like uh, <laughs> non-denominational, you know. Um, yeah. Yeah, they were, yeah. So, yeah, I grew up, uh, my dad was a pastor, and, um, you know, it was like whoever didn't show up, whoever didn't play, you know, uh, like the bass player didn't show up, you played bass. If the drummer didn't show up, you played, I played drums for years. Wow. Wow. I'm not a drummer at all. <laughs> I played piano for like, I don't know how many years there, but it was whoever didn't, you know, didn't show up. That's, that's what you did. So, so let me ask you all this. You, 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 you both are very, very successful in your genres of music mm-hmm. and in, in producing and writing and everything mm-hmm. else. 
If you were to, and I'm going to start off with you, Mitchell, being one of the legends, if you were to um, be in front of a, 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 a group of young artists at this point, um, what would you, what would be your words of encouragement or words of wisdom? And then, David, if you could do the same question. Well, the first thing I would say is understand the call. See, so many people think God has called them to do something. Come on. But no, God has called them to himself. Mm -hmm. And that's the main thing is that everything you do should flow, should flow from your relationship with God. It should flow from being in the presence of God so that people can see who you're looking at versus mm -hmm. see what you're saying or what you're playing. Mm -hmm. I think we should all seek the audience of one yes. and be the audience of one so that now if I give myself to, if I give my whole self to God, I can give my whole self, I can give my whole God to the people. Wow. That's what it's all about. So when I play, I'm playing before him. I'm not playing before them. Mm. Oh, that, that's powerful. You know, that, oh, that was a nugget. Let me go ahead and put that in the cash box. That's the offering play. Yes, yes. <laughs> Brother David. Um, man, I mean, how do you follow that up? That's 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 everything right there. Um, I think the the other thing too is to on the on the other side of it, practice your craft. Mm -hmm. um, you know, understanding business. I think too. Yes, uh, people, yes sir. You you know, they get out here and they they think, oh man, I'm just going to sing and I'm just going. But they don't know any, have any idea how to get it out. They don't know how the money flows in this business, all that kind of stuff. And all that stuff is important. So um, I'm, I'm a big proponent of that. Get get an education about what business you're jumping into. That's good, Dave. That's, yeah, that's really good. good. That's I'm good. glad you said that. That's, that's good. I hope people that, are listening. Man. People that are listening <laughs> that are aspiring to be artists and all that good stuff, listen to them. And one thing I'm taking from this whole interview is that your reputation and how you carry yourself will give you longevity because both of you, have longevity, and that's one of the keys to being um, successful. Man, that's true. That's yeah. true. So, um, again, um, I'm excited about this. Yes. Um, you guys are working together. Can you talk to us about the project uh, that we'll play today, and um, uh, is there going to be more from you two? I would love that. I Absolutely. would love that. Absolutely. It's, it's, <laughs> we love it, but you know, we know we already plan on doing some more uh, uh, writing and and, uh, and singing and uh, and doing some uh, engagements. We, we're I'll, looking forward to. Matter of fact, he's planning on coming to Detroit so we can so we can uh, uh, minister together. I'll play the tambourine. I'll play the tambourine. I'll be the percussion. <laughs> there you now, go. Now, now see, there he go again. <laughs> He keep on booking himself, I'll be the, I'll be you know, the and, and, you know, I'm not going to even go out for air base this time. No. I'm going to bring my group, you know, uh, Leonard and the Leonard Ets. group? Yeah, Is Leonard group? and the Leonard Ets. And, 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 and we, we, we just, we ain't going to even try to get on stage. We're just going to run down to the front of the stage. And when y'all do, when y'all be doing the moves and everything, pray, pray. you know, uh, they're they going to be following you. Pray. You know. The gospel uh, Leonard Ets. I love yeah. that. So, um, it's you know, I, I, I'm just going to call you guys the good guys. You know, the good guys are coming together. And you guys came out with this song, I Need You. What inspired that? Man, so when, um, okay, so I moved to L.A. and I started to have conversations with people. And one of the common things was loneliness. And, um, mm -hmm. and, and it seemed to just be some, some darkness, you know, mm -hmm. just a lot of people just like, man, you know, I love it here, but I'm disconnected right. or I love it here. And, but I'm sad, you know, I, I had dreams and hopes to, you know, and I had all these things mm -hmm. and, um, and I started writing this song and I, well, in my mind, I started writing this song and, um, and I reached out to Mitchell and I said, you know, I need a hold me or an ordinary, just won't do type of song that people can sing directly to God because yeah. those songs man, like even like hold me during the pandemic was the anthem in my house you know we all was, you know singing that song because we we really needed it. it was like Lord like what's going on yeah. you know so um so we wanted to write a song you know a song like that and um mm -hmm. and that's that's where the, the, the spiritual aspect came from but wow. but wow. Mr. <laughs> um I remember when he brought the song to me because uh, I, I like the song so much, I was like, "Wow, this!" You know, he 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 kind of wrote the chorus, 
and we kind of just flipped it a little bit, but it's really talking about people who have, may have fallen from grace yes. or may have um, taken advantage of God's mercy. Mm -hmm. Everybody has maybe felt this way one time or another in their life. Yes, sir. Uh, and so Lord is telling them, don't let condemnation make you feel far from me. Come on. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm not far from you. Right. I'm not far from you. I will never leave you. Come on. And so this person just woke up and came to himself and realized, man, man, it's, I've been out here and I did the things that I wanted to do. But man, I feel like I need you. And what I like about it is, he says, I need you more than I need breakthrough. Mm. I need you more than I need blessings. Come on. I need you more than I need uh, deliverance or healing. And so many times we, you know, we seek those things rather than God. And God is the only one that can satisfy the deepest longing of our soul. Come on. Fill our hungry soul with goodness. No one, no one can give us the, the, the security that we need and the love that we need but God. And so this person wakes up and, and like, man, nobody can love me like this. I need you. I need you up close. And when you yeah. get him, you got all that anyway. Absolutely. I love right. that. I love that. I love that. Well, I'm going to say this because we could just talk to y'all forever and a day. Man, this is amazing. So I'm going to say, uh, Brother Mitchell, how can they connect with you and, and uh, you know, just follow connect you. with you and follow you? Um, they can follow me on Twitter. I mean, I'm Twitter. Uh, uh, oh, my God. What's the Facebook, name? Instagram? Facebook, and Facebook, Instagram. Okay. And, and, and we'll, we'll, show, we'll show a tag, uh, you know. Uh, the voice. Uh, the voice. The voice. With, with, the voice. With, with, what uh what, what what are they looking for? Are they looking for Mitchell the Voice? What, the voice what they in the for? Woods. Mitchell Jones. Mitchell Jones. Okay. Mitchell Jones. All right. We'll we'll give you'll give I'm gonna be his marketer. I'm gonna be like Mitchell Jones, the dark MJ, skinned brother, MJ. the dark skinned brother that made commission who it was today. You know. No, don't say that. <laughs> don't say that. Not as best with you. Right. You, you, you know how I get people in trouble with yeah, right, be like this. Which one you talking about? <laughs> the dark skin Oh yeah, I know which one he is. Now I'm gonna call him the two tone. Cause he got the black, the, the he got the black mustache with the with a great beard. Right. I see your I see your style. Yeah. Two <laughs> David, how can they find you and follow you? Oh man, um, see my website. Everything is under David P. Stevens. Website, all of the social media, um, you know everything. And the song is out on all platforms now. So you can look up, up David P. Stevens or Jones, and you'll see you'll see it on there. Now does the P stand for Parnell? No. It stands, it stands for Pentecostal. No, Paul. Pentecostal. Paul. Paul. David, David like Pentecostal Stevens. Stevens. David Pentecostal. You always want to get spooky and deep. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> David Pentecostal. That's, that's a really nice name, David Paul Stevens. That's, that's nice, man. It's got to catch you. It's catchy. Thank you. Mm -hmm. you, you sound important. Right. Because he is important. <laughs> hey, guys, we, we, we love you. You We're always honored. have. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. Space here at yes. GLD Radio 1. David, you know you family Mitchell. We're going to engraft you into the family. Yes. So anytime Absolutely. you need us, we got you. Yes. I appreciate you. Now, you, you said you don't have people on, the, on your on your uh, station more than once. So I'm hoping that, that I'm one no, of the no, ones. No, 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 no. No, no, no. You're talking no, about his, a I, show. I, I said the show because we produce oh, Bayside Gospel, Jazz at the Creek, the San Diego County Fair. We do a lot of productions of and concerts. a lot of tours. Yes. And, and uh, if you get a repeat, like Fred's been on. The fair, I think we've had him twice. We've had, you know, the, you know all the legends, and we were trying to get commission with, because, with, Clark sisters. with the Clark sisters because y'all both are legends. And it was my request, Mitch. I requested that. We're coming. We're coming. We're coming. We're coming. Now, 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 you see how he's going to try to take all the credit. Well, because let's tell the truth. <laughs> let's <laughs> tell the truth. David, you, know, David, you see him? I can't see, never, never live in my truth. See, see, he, he <laughs> asked me who did I want. I said I want I want Clark sisters you and I want commission doing? reunion. Let's call the eight eight space. Yeah, yeah. See, yeah. See, see. Oh, well, we oh. did. We looked at that one too. Well, we're we gonna at, look at. We're gonna revisit. We, we looked at the winings and the commission. We're gonna revisit. Uh, we try to get all the combinations because every yeah. major artist yes. uh, that's in the industry right now we've had on our, our on our fair. Yes. And so we we were cleaning up like we finally got the Clark sisters. Yes. Uh, but we were trying to get the combinations mm -hmm. um, because we know we know the combinations are so important, and we want to pay homage to what brought the industry to where it is now. They were booked, I remember. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And commission, whinings, 
Clark Sisters, a lot, lot of you, you, your groups really shaped where it opened up the door for your Kurt Franklins and your Ty right. Tribbetts Sick and all of that. Gospel. And um, so that's what we're looking uh, to continue to do here. So on radio, you could come as many times as you want to come. Okay. You know, uh, we can't afford you. We can't afford you to come, but every other day, every two years. Right. Physically. Yeah, huh? Physically. Right. <laughs> when, commission, when commission first started, we started in the music ministry. Yeah. We were, and we've seen over the years how it changed from the music ministry mm. to the music industry. Yes, yeah. sir. I'm looking forward to come back to the music ministry. Oh, God mm. is doing it. Mm -hmm. Just mm. As we watch, God is doing it. God is moving those that have those pure hearts and who are for yes. ministry, he's moving them to the forefront, but he's blessing them yes, with the finances too. We ain't got to sell yes. out like we started doing, and we lost yes, the power of gospel music. Now, now, can I say this? The one thing that I, I will say is simply this, um, where, and I'm going to say this to Brother David. Um, although he uh, does the jazz and the smooth jazz arena and everything else, that they, they can, everywhere he go, they still know he's a church boy. They still know that he loves the Lord, and and they literally right. honor and approach him that way. And I think that that's the one thing in growing up in the church that uh, started to be instilled in us, and that was is that wherever we go, the church the is church there. Goes with and we're going to make sure Absolutely. that the atmosphere when we walk in is going to change because we are there and we're bringing God with us. So I love the fact that I see our Christian mm -hmm. artists, mm -hmm. um, even if they're playing in secular, uh, it's right. funny because um, I know David be somewhere and they be like, well, David, I, I know that you're here to play, but can you pray for me? Because I need, I, I need uh, 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 God to help me out with a, they literally look for you and, and mm -hmm. bring you aboard because they need that spirituality to help them through where they're at. Oh, yes. Yep. Oh, yeah. yeah. Many times. Many times. Yeah. So with that being said, we're going to introduce this song because uh, if we don't, we're going to keep on talking, right. you know. So, Robert L. Dean, the song is – oh, go ahead, David. One last thing. when you And I got to say it now. When you do this county fair and you have commission, can I get a backstage pass? That's all I'm saying. Oh, yeah, you'll you, you, <laughs> He'll give it to you. Absolutely. On one account. What? What's that? <laughs> that you bring your whole entire family. All right. Oh, because cause we have not fair, met – Our we, fair is phenomenal. Yeah, and we have met the whole family. And so, you know, we, we got to spoil them. So they be like, they go Uncle Leonard. You know? And Uncle Robert Earl Dean. <laughs> oh, yeah, and him too. I, see a self, I feel a selfish spirit. Do you feel a selfish spirit? Yeah, I rebuke it. It's okay. Oh, uh, I felt that. Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. <laughs> here we go. Right here. I need you, David P. Stevens and Mitchell Jones, right here on GOD Radio 1. .com. <laughs> <laughs> 